how's your experience at Liverpool Comic Con been so far? Well, let's start with Liverpool because I actually came to Liverpool about a year ago on my way up to Scotland, and I stayed in the Beatles Hotel, which is fantastic in the middle of in the middle of. I wanted to stay in the John Lennon suite, but it's, it's a thousand pounds a night. Wow, that's expensive. so. I ended up, I think, in the the Ringo Starr, you know, little <laughs> little like B and B right? down the uh, down the road, which was nice. A lot of fun, and then in the morning I went out and I did I, I did the the taxi ride mm -hmm. uh, that takes you to all the places, all the sites. Special taxi ride with the music playing in the cab. It was oh, great. Cool. So I was very happy to do that. So back in Liverpool now for the Comic Con, and uh, what what a big experience! It's a huge, huge event. Lots of people. We've had all these stars coming from America. It's been a lot of fun, absolutely. And I do so many of these conventions, so. So it's nice to do something, uh, uh, you know, a little, a little different. Right. So um, you mentioned that you do a lot of these conventions. Yeah. So how does the Liverpool convention compare to other ones that you've worked for? Do you know what? We've just been, I'm just been looking around it, and it seems to me that he has a lot of. I think, I think what he's brought in, uh, or the, uh, the the organizer has brought in a lot of things for the kids to look at. I mean, there's there, there, there's some some great, great features around. You know, like like sort of the Batmobile and and the other. The other setup too with the cars and everything that looks pretty good and the gaming is terrific i think that that's very good but bouncy castles for the kids i think there's a lot of sort of hands-on stuff seeming that you can do here as well mm -hmm. uh, and, and of course there's all the vendors but uh most comic cons just have the vendors but this seems to have gone one step further and bringing in a lot of a lot of other attractions too which is great it's lovely i just spoke to the organizer and he said that they organized this in two months it's amazing. It's Isn't amazing. It? No, it is. I mean, I, I think I think he's taken over from MCM Comic Con, yes. which I I used to do quite a bit of with the Brian, who I liked a lot. Uh, so so I'm, I wish him well because it's it's a big thing. It's a big thing to do these these Comic Cons and make it better. I think we're listening to the um, uh, cosplay in the background. I think at the moment. I think that's what's going on. Isn't it? Yeah, there's a little cosplay fashion show. Going yeah, it's a fashion <laughs> show. Yeah. Um, it's so, so loud now. I... Um, so I absolutely loved your role as Churchill in Doctor Who. Thank you. Um, so how is it working with um, Matt, Matt Smith and Stephen Moffat? Well, Matt Smith it was only the second one he'd ever done, really, so he was still very nervous. He had some big shoes to fill in because David Tennant had had such a big success with it. So Matt was still working on it. He was still finding his feet. He was still finding what he wanted to do with the doctor and was being very inventive. He changed a lot of stuff. He'd take it one way, he didn't like it, tried it again another way uh, and was, was great. But but you could tell that he was a little edgy, a little nervous. But then he sort of settled into it as we went along and Karen Gillan was a joy. Yes. She's a, she's such a lovely person. They both are very welcoming. Uh, we had a really we had a really nice time making it. And then when I went back for a second time, it was like uh, Reading an old lost friend, which was wonderful. It was it was nice. But you don't. You both um, did have a really recognisable chemistry on camera. I thought you both yeah. looked as if you'd known each other for a long time. Yeah, that's what we wanted to do because that, that's the whole thing behind um, that wonderful moment when he goes. Do, do, uh, I recognise you because, of course, I mean, Winston has seen several doctors probably along the years, and yes. so and, and so that was great. That and, and that and that seemed to work very well. No, no, I, I can't. Um, I've just been doing some uh, big finish audio books for um, uh, for Doctor Who. Um, I've just completed the second box set of uh, the Churchill Years, which are, which are great little uh, stories in themselves. So, I mean, have a look at those. They're a, a lot of fun, in which I have to play all the Doctors, which is I do Eccleston, I do David Tennant, I do Matt Smith. Yeah, because it's actually Winston doing the narration. So. Uh, um, so as they get out of the, as they get out of the TARDIS, I recognised him because of that leather jacket, Eccleston. So I've then got to do Eccleston with badly, <laughs> but you know I had to go at them all uh, along the way. Would you be able to do your best David Tennant impression for us? No, because quite frankly, when I did it, I think the director at the time said, "Ian, Ian, make it a little bit more London, will you?" And I said, "I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means." But then I said to him, "Look, it, it doesn't matter because Winston." Winston's doing it. He wouldn't be a perfect actor. He'd be able to. It's just to his own voice, for God's sake. No, so that we we did it like that. Made it a little bit more London.